Well, hello there, human hippies, earthlings, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, I'm Bushka. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be about TDs. Matty Bolly uh, sent me a message in Patreon saying, hey, um, why don't you do a video on TDs and, you know, how to play them and all that kind of thing. And I've kind of done that before, but he's right. It's, it's well worth a refresher, a look back at it, because a lot of people are new to the game. They don't really understand the concepts that are involved specifically with non-turreted TDs. TDs like this, the Object 268 and the Jaeger which I'm going to play for you. And then I'm going to show you a game from BS Campbell in the T95, which I feel perfectly encapsulates the whole conversation. And uh, we'll get to that in just a wee while. One of the big issues you have with these TDs is positioning. Positioning with mediums and to a lesser extent heavies is very easy because you have a turret and you have either armor, mobility or camouflage. With these TDs, you have to make a lot of correct guesses uh, based on where you believe the enemy is going to pop. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I've got two tanks that are low. I feel like they're going to come around this flank here, so they're going to pop up over here. I don't know where the 183 is, uh, and he's the bloke that ends up really screwing with me because he, he goes somewhere else. The reason that this guesswork or guesstimate or, you know, game sense or... You know, basically running the numbers, crunching the numbers, and figuring out that this is where you're most likely to be okay is important. Is that you are going to come up against many occasions like this where you have to guess right every time to win. And in a turreted TD, that's a lot easier. Like you can see that 183, he just rolls across the top and his turret finds me wherever I am. It is a lot tougher when you don't have a turret to do this. And that is why a lot of players don't perform very well in these tanks when they move forward. The safest way to play these tanks is at the back, and it's not just because you don't have armor. That's not true at all. The Jaeger Roo, for instance, has outstanding armor and can be angled with all the gun traverse it now has to really take advantage of that. The reason it's safer to play at the back is that you keep everything in front of you, and when everything is in front of you, your very, very weak sides are not exposed. Uh, exposed. Exposed. <laughs> are you exposed? Call 1-800-EXPLOSED-NOW. Hot, hot, hot. Get it while it's hot. And it can be very, very difficult as you progress through the game to track all the situations that are going on around you that are going to create bad angles for you. Like I can see that A100's over there. There's a 263 behind him. I've got an FE4202 on my left. There's a waffle tractor in the far corner. Tracking all those possibilities is tough because let's be honest. Um, You've got to aim at the same time and you're looking at the mini-map and your eyeballs are in two places at once and that's very, very difficult. And there you go. I lost track of the 4202 and he, he's putting shots in behind me. So immediately I have to get myself in a position where he can't get a hold of me and that means putting that house between me and the E100. And this is now I'm just driving out of this trouble and I'm hoping the i 7s going to help me out. And that's the kind of problem that I'm talking about. How do you get better at that and how do you... How do you figure it all out? Well, for starters, you have to leave the back of the map. You have to start driving to positions that are more fluid, that change with the game. And it's very important that you start doing this for more reasons than just uh, if you don't have shots, you're just a dead gun. Uh, it's, it's also because as you start progressing your game forward, and I'm not saying if you're just new to the game that you start driving down the throat of the bad guys, I'm saying that you start taking positions that are effective and until they're effective, they're great. But once once it's over, you you move out of there. By the way, this is um, something you need to understand with TDs. There's two trees between me and that 268, right? And if you're far enough back from a tree, they become a silhouette. And if they're a silhouette, there is a good chance that they will not see you when you fire. See, that's a silhouette. I'm far enough back that my camo does not break, even though I fire a 1,200 damage round into that waffle tractors. So where was I? Yeah, positions. Um, when positions are broke and there's nothing there, you've got to move, and that means changing angles. Uh, it means putting yourselves in positions where things can go wrong, because as you can see here, that poor old jaeger -roo, he's pushing up the mountain, and suddenly there's another Jaeger behind him doing 800 damage and now he's got to angle to two fronts and he can't do that because he doesn't have a turret and a, oh good god damn that sucks I don't know how he fires here before me by the way 
Oh, okay. So he didn't actually kill the 268. I'm watching this back. That is why I took that damage. Fair enough. That makes sense. I'm going to show you a game now in the T95 that is all about this kind of positional play. And as this Leopard 1 forgets that Jaegerus have awesomely large amounts of HE damage. The T95, just about more than any other TD, um, expounds the necessary uh, joy of this theory. The T95 is all about preparation and positioning. If you are in a non-turreted TD and you do not, and it's slow and mobile, and this thing is is a mobile as immobile gets, then you will need to really start paying attention to this particular game and the way that this game is played and the way it unfolds. Firstly, if you can possibly have buddies with you in a TD, that's important. I would highly recommend that you do not push alone in a non-turreted TD. One of the big things in Blitz is that mediums and lights love to just farm damage off big TDs. And if you're caught behind a house by an Object 140 uh, facing in the wrong direction and they get to your backside, they can take your entire hit point pool and not be visible to any bad guys on, on any good guys on your team. What you really want to be doing is what my amigo here is doing. Now, he is amongst friends. And that allows him a certain amount of, not complacency, but he can be fairly confident in the knowledge that anyone that tries to move in and COD him is going to take a huge amount of damage from the tanks all around him. I love the fact that the WZ-110 here is using uh, Mr. Campbell as a mobile hull down position. <laughs> this is just gorgeous. And this is something that is not new. This is something that has been done throughout the ages with the T95. Many, many people have pushed along behind the T95. Um, and there we go, the back line. The back line. Watch what happens here. And I find this very, very interesting. There is an e, a Tiger 2 on the right, which is an important thing to understand. That means that if he doesn't clear the tanks dead ahead of him, by the time that Tiger 2 wins that battle over there, then he faces the very real opportunity of getting side hunted or COD'd by the Tiger 2 because the Tiger 2 is right on him now. Um, and you can see he is the last tank left alive. This is a very, very important part of the game. Look at this. Look at the angles that he is running. And then immediately he turns his tank back towards the bad guys. I find that fascinating, that that one little move, understanding the way you've got to move your tank and the way you can maintain angles, that was the extreme angle that he could maintain without showing his sides to this ISU there and still getting damage into that Tiger too. I thought that was very, very cool. And that's something you need to learn. You need to learn the angles of your tanks, uh, what they can stand before their sides become easily penable. And generally... It's not an exact science, but it's something that you, in a non-turreted TD, really need to pay attention to. A lot of non-turreted TDs have great side armor when angled and really, really poor flat side armor because it's all about, you know, angling it up to X, Y, Z. The Badger is a perfect case in point. The Badger's can, sides can be overmatched, but at a certain angle, they are auto-bounce zones for a lot of tanks in the game. So knowing that allows you to do all kinds of cool things. Watch how... Campbell keeps moving around this hard cover area. Look at him backing up towards the pylons. This is non-turreted TD-101. Like, this is absolutely the most important part of driving one of these tanks. Preparation. He is keeping himself close to hard cover. So if he gets pushed by one of these lighter tanks, he can scrape them off against that cover every move i love this is so the t95 to a t look at it not not moving in the open just not moving in the open understanding that despite the fact that he's got plenty of hit points and lots of armor he's got absolutely nothing in front of him that will, will allow him to turn fast enough to deal with his t54 and this is the real reason i wanted to show this video look at this this is non-turreted td 101 that is your rock. 
That is your friendly place. You do not leave it unless you have another rock and another friendly place to go to, which is exactly what he's doing here. And then as soon as the 54 starts pushing, look where his ass is going. Towards a flat, hard, friendly place where he cannot be COD'd. The 54 wants to get past him. There's nowhere to go. Lovely little bit of work there. Really patient, really thoughtful, aggressive, but at no point in time out of control. I hope you guys enjoyed that little reminder of how to play those non-turreted TDs and the important parts and skills that are required for them. Um, I really think that is well worth a refresher course. Until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.